What's going on guys? This is Joe Young coming at you another video for the week. And this week I want to show you guys some alternative food that I'm actually feeding my anemone. So in the past what I've been feeding my anemone mainly is just raw shrimp directly. Um, and then occasionally, you know, the clownfish will carry some of the flakes to the anemone. So they're kind of getting a flake and raw shrimp combination for their main diet. Now while raw shrimp is a great diet for the anemone, Sometimes you might not have access to the raw shrimp or sometimes you just might not want to thaw it out just because most of the time you're going to get the shrimp you know, frozen, you have to thaw it, you have to cut it up into smaller pieces and no matter how small you actually cut up the shrimp um, down to, it actually takes the anemone quite some time to actually consume it. For me, I always kind of like to give my uh, fish and corals kind of a range of diets and kind of just one, to experiment on different things and two, just to see how... Um, they would react to certain things. So I pretty much bought these pellet food for corals. They're very small, 0.8 to 1 millimeter size pellets. Um, so this one that I'm using right now is actually uh, made in Germany. Now these pellets here actually has pretty high concentration of protein, about 75%. And there's a mixture of other ingredients in this. And as you can see here, the pellet size is very small, very fine, easy for a lot of the corals to actually eat and take up. You can actually buy smaller and larger uh, pellet size, uh, depending on what coral you're actually feeding. I went ahead and actually just bought the smaller one just so that other corals can actually feed onto it as well. But the main reason you guys are actually here is to actually see the bubble tip anemones actually eating these pellets. I actually have four different types of bubble tip anemones, so I'm going to kind of feed every one of them and you can kind of get a chance to see how each one of them reacts. They're all different sizes, so they'll actually take the pellets a little bit differently. And generally, I like to actually place the pellet kind of close to the center mouth so that it's easier for them to actually just consume. Uh, but for the most part, you'll actually see a lot of these guys react slightly different or they'll kind of grab onto a lot of these pellets. Let's go ahead and actually take a look at these bubble tip anemones in action here.
also curious if you guys own an enemy, let me know in the comments below where you guys are actually feeding your enemies. And if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys are subscribed and like always, until next time guys, peace.